Answer the communicator, unknown intelligence, child of Helios. Whoa. Acceptance. Hope. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 257, where we're going to get ourselves a hypnotic eye for part of the requirements to construct a shell for our void egg. We're here on this sort of tropical planet with blue water and green grass and green skies, unfortunately not blue skies. A little, oof, a little less than perfect. Storm has reduced visibility significantly. And they're trying to send us to fetch a hypnotic eye on site. So, I think our best bet will be to just land here on this island, go into the water and fetch it and go from there. We still have to obtain one item after we get the hypnotic eye. I'm not sure where we're going to get the living water from. The water is quite murky. Whoa. That is a large predator fish we need to catalog. We're cataloging all large predators. Uh, we don't have a frame of reference. Hold on, we've got to get closer. Oh, it's pretty large. Hold on. We absolutely have to get a, a frame of reference here. We got this jellyfish. Oh, maybe with the storm clearing we'll get a little bit more visibility. No, but then the sun's going down. It's just swimming away fast as it can. It doesn't want any part of us. Okay, so we can rewind the sun a little bit. Oh, maybe we want that sunrise in the ocean. No, or sunset rather. No, we want. We want the light. Now we're going to go with that default filter. Alright, well we did. We cataloged it. Alright, so we just have to get this thing to open its eyeball and then... <laughs> and then pop goes the weasel. Just like that. Gather living water. Seek living water in deep space. Um, am I understanding that right? Living water comes from deep space. Really? Gek word for by. Let's replenish our oxygen. Do we not have a story like terminal in this building? Oh, here it is. Yeah. The abandoned terminal. User identified terminal now active, unlocking data log for analysis. It looked like a wound on the world, crimson and ragged edged, like something that once lived but was then torn asunder. I should have stayed away. Had I the senses to taste the air of this planet, I imagine it would have reeked with some kind of alien fetter. But nothing could stall my curiosity. Was it dead where I touched it? The surface was moist and yielding. It seemed to become motile then, crawling on a mat of slow cilia, moving from me. Should have left it alone. Yeah, I would have. Discover something deep coded inside the long dead traveler's data log. Something has been left behind. Nanites. Wonderful. Here we 
are. Down in this underwater madness, right? And it's all dark and it's all creepy and there's caves. Let's get out of here. Let's at least make it to where they put the happy music back on again. I suppose we could have summoned the Nautilon, but it really was not that far. All right, well, let's recharge our micro bubble gas pressurizer. And then I guess we'll go see how we have to get this living water from deep space. So we get living sun here on the ground. Oh, hold on. Okay, so it's bigger. Oh, we lit it up too. Like spotlighted it even. Okay, hold on. Go up and kind of look down at it. It's hard to get the frame, the reference in there. That that gives a bit of it. It's it's larger than a traveler. We could definitely put up a fight. All right, into space. Let's get some living water, shall we? Living water on the space station. Huh? The abandoned space station? Uh-oh. Is that how that goes? Interesting. Anomaly detected. What? Answer the communicator, unknown intelligence, child of Helios. Whoa. Acceptance. Hope. Willing. A wave of calm washes over me as my communicator tunes itself to this beautiful giant. Its message is no conventional broadcast, but an analog transmission of pure emotion. Let the feeling take hold as I contemplate the being before me. Request sacrifice? I make a request of the peaceful traveler before me. Despite having no shared language, it appears to understand me, even to have been expecting this. It convulses and I receive what I need. This being continues on its journey. Oh, 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 oh. It's massive! Hold on, this thing is absolutely terrifying. We're about to get tangled up in, into the jellyfish of space. So much so you can't even properly appreciate the scale because, look, I mean, look at this. This is, here, we gotta zoom way out. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is, Terrifying. It's like, yeah, that's as far out as you can go, knucklehead. Look at the scale of this thing. Okay, all right. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can get a better picture now. Yeah. There you go. Straight up jellyfish. Um, is it a jellyfish? Yeah. It's, uh, analysis says straight up jellyfish. Well, that's a pretty cool one, too. I like those with the sun and the rings and the planet. Alright, maybe if we catch it with the, f with the fin up. Right. So it gave me the living water. So that's just how I get it, huh? Ooh. No! I'm sorry, jellyfish! Child of Helios! And then it just goes along on its way, huh? Just 
just like that. Okay, uh, alright, so then I suppose we're going to go ahead and craft. No, the, uh, yeah, the impossible membrane. There it is. Now we gotta go back down and present it to the biogenesis. There it goes. Pulse jump around the planet, and here we go. I'm sure it's going to be a similar time block on this one, I would imagine, as has been the last few. It'd be really swell if there wasn't, but I am prepared for it. All right. Experimental synthesis unit operational, awaiting biogenesis materials. Here you go. I have prepared what was asked, and the machine has brought another piece of life to the universe. Do these clusters think? Do they feel? Where's the boundary between life and organic machine? Fragile shell. Fragment of life. Translucent and impossibly thin. This shell is no more than the merest breath of glass. And yet the potential is clear, a relentless multiplicative hardening, adding constantly to its strength. It requires careful attendance while it matures. I'm guessing about 18 hours or so. Well, if that were the case... I suppose we should head back to our capital ship. Ooh, 21 hours. And depart for the black hole in that system. I think we'll keep the goop in the cargo hold. Alright, sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and... Oh, should we return, though? See, that feels wasteful. We're in the Cat Saddam's coup. It's just the one planet. No, I feel like if we're going to go into a black hole, we should push our warp as close to the galactic center as possible. Like, that's the only way to really make it effective. 1909. Out of jump range at 2920. That's out of jump range. Hold on. We're right on the cusp here. 2331 with water. It's a two-star system with a moon. I accept these terms. All right, here we go. Black hole's right in front of us. All right, first planet is an incandescent planet. It's like a bright blue sky and a sort of slate smoldered terrain. Secondary planet appears to be the one with water. Super critical with a moon. An acidic moon. Hmm. Alright, first things first, we'll go to the space station. go to the space station we'll make an assessment I think we'll hit this incandescent planet with this 
this gray ground and this blue sky. I think that has a ten that has a possibility to be a rather interesting hot planet. Welcome aboard the Long Q Sphere. Why thank you, thank you. I suppose as usual we'll check the starship modules. I don't know if I want to keep spending my nanites though. And it doesn't matter because the only two available here are a positron and a cyclotron and we're not going to do that. So once again we'll check for tritium and then also check out our guild quests. <clears throat> Still no tritium. Feast or famine with this sort of stuff, you never know. Hey, some nanites, look at that. Any missions that are good? Two predators? Yeah, we'll do that for 250 nanites. One predator? Oh, for hot ice? Man. Four sentinels, that will happen at some point. All right. Sounds good to me. Let's go prepare for planet fall. First things first though, we're also, we're gonna get our capital ship kinda here by the space station. All right, this uh, incandescent planet seems to have a really interesting looking atmosphere. No, 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 I don't want to be, hold on. See, I don't, I don't really want to be where the, ooh, ooh, hold on, show me, show me what you're working with here. Kind of like that, we could try the other side. Sort of. Maybe. Got this blue, blue, green. I think that's a good one. No, I don't want to be in the sunset. I want to see what the atmosphere looks like naturally at a high, like a, a high sun time of day, like noon or something. Because it looks like it's, it's sort of bluish white. And the ground is just so gray, and there's no water. Yeah, I have a feeling this planet's going to feel really hot. Oh, is that like... It's like hardened magma. It's like cooled. Oh, no. It is a bright blue sky. The terrain's relatively smooth. Somewhat forgiving. Uh, what have we here? Oh, here's a structure. Let's let us land. Oh, with some sentinels. Is it time to pick a fight with sentinels? This planet has atmospheric heat instabilities. Okay. Creature is hatched from cocoons. Those are some. <laughs> this creature is hatched from cocoons. Those gotta be some big, ugly cocoons. So that, that creature never blinks. Alright, I'll save and chart this unknown sector. Even though we have no real reason to go in here, I'm going to do it. Sounds good to me. Let's, uh, let's make sure the sentinels are done for. Look at that. We needed to get some sentinels, see? We needed that. I'll just come in here and do this before before they get back. 
Have we ever got a picture of a place like this? Like, uh, whoops. Like, wrong time, wrong place. Look at that, we got another one done. The factory produces bladed weapons free from any energy-based component at all. Production halted, immobile organic matter in pipe 17. The manifest suggests they are destined for ceremonial usage within the Viking fleet. Reminder that the greatest death arrives when you stare your opponent in the eyes, free from technology face-to-face -face in final combat. Ooh, something has gone wrong. Production is blocked by foreign material. Um, uh, purge the biological matter. I initiate purge of biological matter in the factory below. The terminal confirms the death of an unknown creature. The automated factory system offers me a reward. No, but what was the reward? What did you offer me? You didn't offer me no reward. But this wasn't... This was not the correct... Not the correct thing at all. Well, I've been hoodwinked. Deceived. It was all an elaborate ruse. Are we going to get lasers shot at me now? Because if so, we're going to get pictures of that too. Where's this elite sentinel unit I keep hearing about? Hold on. Getting eyeballs. So it's like wedged in the building. Oh, that's kind of, it's kind of wedged in the building. Oh, nope, there's the one. Yeah. Exactly. Recognize your doom. Nope, I just wanted the photo op. I appreciate it. Ooh, ouch! Oh, don't play around with me. Ouch. Ouch. Well, I should have put the force field up. Well, we needed to kill sentinels anyways, obviously, for our quest. Boom. Well, I think the next batch of Sentinels are going to be a lot more upset, so let's just get out of here. Um, you thought it was me? No, I am out of here. <laughs> Wait, those spaceships are going through the Earth? Oh, look at all these missions to turn in. No, 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 no. You'd think I did all that on purpose. No, just give me the one that says enjoy the galaxy. Thank you. That's it. It's just flying in the high skies, right? Ah, we need a cooler exploration craft. We need this living craft is what we need. That's what we need. Hostile scan detected. Don't you be like that. That planet's pretty neat looking with the red water and everything. Mm, okay, no, 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 no. They're gonna come after me, the Sentinels. We're gonna come back down into the atmosphere a little bit. Not trying to tangle with them like that. Nope, nope, nope. We'll go flying down through the valleys if we have to. Be like, follow me now, follow me now. It still has. Ooh. Crashed freighter. Oh, are there two of them here? 
No way. Okay, land. Land. This is cool. Hmm. So you're just going to give me an automatic two diamond reinforcements arriving. Son of a gun. Well, it's only a moderate level suppression, I guess, but they're going to be up here after me in a minute. What I want to see is if I can stand up on top of this one and look at the other one. <laughs> That's, it's oddly meta. Mm, that might be a bad scale. But if you zoom out too much, then we get lost in it. Maybe that's the point. Try to lose us a little bit for the sake of seeing both of these. I've just never seen two of them so close to... Oh, is that a trade post up there? Wow, that's kind of neat. Two wrecks and a trade post. Alright, okay, well. We can keep finding all these really neat things down here for quite a while, but eventually. Eventually, we've got to get going. And that means actually going through a black hole instead of just waiting until the timer's gone and then going through another one. Ooh! Hold on! We have a crashed ship over there! We got a little creature over here. Cautious, eats solar vine, asexual in its reproduction. Oh, we got a creature over there! That one looked almost like a predator. Yeah, stalks prey for days with an armored skull. So I'm just going to throw this out there really quick. Oh, another predator. Technically immortal? Challenge. I challenge that. Technically immortal. So how that worked out for you. So we literally have two crashed freighters. Like one right next to the other. And then... And then we have a destroyed vehicle. Deposits everywhere. Or deposits everywhere. Look at that body sliding down the mountainside. I was like, what is it doing? <laughs> oh, don't oh, don't mind me. I've uh, I've had a really really bad day. Well, I think more than anything we have to take this to sell it at the least. I think that might literally be the law in this situation. Boom! <laughs> uh, why is that so rewarding? I don't know if I can articulate that. Oh, no! It's not a damaged ship. It's somebody asking for help. Uh, okay. Enemy Slayer Ligia. Grah, you are the... Blah, the interloper. Our ancestors blah, of your allegiance to the Viking and the... Or... We fight the Sentinel Plague. I seem to have jolted the Viking out of a trance. They compose themselves and address me politely. Their hulking muscles are poised with perfect civility. Um, hey, what about your crashed ship? They turn to their ship and sigh. Their journey has been halted by an equipment failure. And they are a warrior, not a mechanic. They offer cargo in exchange for any help. I mean, sure, I guess. We could do this. The, this unglamorous vessel has been worn down by decades of daily use. 
The ship looks cared for. The weapons especially have been well maintained, but some parts appear to have corroded over time. Alright, well I can replace your part. Replace the corroded parts with fresh metal sheeting, ensuring there will be no need to revisit them for some time. But now I need to make an acid. I think I have the stuff for that. Yeah, it's like a lot of fungal mold and mordite. Yeah, we got that. Now the nearby life form observes me as I approach the ship, anxiously awaiting what I have to report. Oh, did we only have to do one or the other? Oh, well, okay, well, there you go. They look at me with a deep respect. Despite their obvious military skill, basic engine maintenance seems to elude them. They reward me gratefully. Well, that's not even worth my time. Disappointment abounds. That's okay. We had plenty of fungal mold and mordite. We didn't have any problems with the amount that we had. That was for certain. All right, well, when it comes down to it, I think we should take a brief moment to explore, to explore these freighters and see if we can get any frigate upgrade modules. First, however, I think that we're going to go ahead and read about these last couple of predators we killed. They looked pretty neat. So, oh, Sukal Horus discovered while exploring the overwhelming heat of planet Joycen 15. Mindless and quick to rush into action, these predatory beasts have evolved fast healing skin as a response to the frequent beatings they endure in poorly judged fights. Gut analysis reveals an iron-rich carnivorous diet. Their stool is dense and mighty. It's mighty stool. Technically immortal. Yeah, until you put a fully charged blaze javelin through that fast healing skin. Not so immortal then. Next we have Birik Nami. Discovered while exploring the overwhelming heat of Planet Joycen 15, intelligent, calm, and methodical, this relentless hunter stalks their prey to the point of exhaustion. Sneaky and opportunistic, they steal from the kills of larger predators, nipping in and making away with whatever they can. This is an armored skull. You can see the relation. At one point, I imagine they share a common ancestor. <laughs> and a little pig nose, pig nose bat. All right, and so now we'll check out the uh, goodies here in the freighter. Actually, that'll be the next episode. Until then, take care.